Question at number six, uh, Pesita P- Sam Lottowinger. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Housing. What progress is the government making in building the additional new homes as part of the asset management strategy for Housing New Zealand? Uh, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, this financial year we will directly build more homes than in any year in the last 25 years. Housing New Zealand right now has builders on the ground on 600 different sites around New Zealand constructing new homes. A further 500 are under contract with work due to start in a matter of weeks. This will contribute to Housing New Zealand's target of at least 2,000 new homes by June 2015. In addition to this, its subsidiary housing Hobsonville Land Company will deliver around 540 homes. The social housing unit is funding the construction of another 700 homes and the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment is also directly contracting the construction of homes in places like Rangers Park to support Christchurch's recovery. Supplementary question, Peseta Sam Lottowinger. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, supplementary question to the Minister. What reports can he give of initiatives that will see better utilisation of the government's land holdings to increase both social and affordable housing? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, we have dozens of redevelopment initiatives are underway, underway that increase the overall number of homes on housing New Zealand land but reduce the overall proportion that are state housing. In the members' own electorate in Maria Street, we are building 21 homes where there were previously three and retaining six of those for state housing purposes. In northern Glen Innes, we are going from 156 homes to 260 homes. The removed houses that were subject to the protest action by the member for Titai Takarau were ironically relocated to his electorate where they are being used for Marae housing. (laughs) Question number seven, Barbara Stewart. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and asks, 